tea. This is lemon and ginger tea, and I don't know if that's an indication of how long it's been since I vlogged, but we are on the 5th of April. It's the 5th of April today. I'm looking outside and it's breezy, not breezy, breezy doesn't describe it. It's literally drizzling and misty. So we're going into winter, the last time I vlogged, put up a vlog. Jan? Feb? I vlogged a couple of things and they're just looking a bit drab and I'll explain why. In the last few months, I've just been going through like a weird phase. Marriage is weird, life is weird, it's the start of the new year. It was kind of the end of last year I vlogged. I've been watching a lot of Shit's Creek, hence the, the Lexus hands and the, you know. If you haven't watched Shit's Creek, you won't understand, but if you have, you will know exactly what I'm talking about when I do things like this. <laughs> I can't with myself. <sighs> okay, we're getting used to vlogging again. If you're married or you've been in a long-term relationship, you know the weird cycles that relationships can go through. When I watch back some of that footage, I just look at myself and I'm like, you look a bit sad. And I can't hide anything from my face. Like, so you see exactly what I'm thinking or feeling right on this damn face. And there's nothing I can do about it. So I thought I would just kind of breeze over those clips so that we don't have them as memories. Because that's not the fun stuff I want to have on YouTube. So I thought we could do a little catch up. And we'll start in Jan and work our way towards April. There's some fun stuff in here. We got our new car. I did my H&M shoot. There's some other stuff, but it's all coming. In the beginning of Jan... I finally decluttered my closet, as in I pulled out tons of stuff that I just felt like didn't suit my style. How cute is this, by the way? Okay, not the bottoms. It's like a business on top, party at the bottom, to a T in this outfit. And also, if you're new and you've actually watched this rambly beginning, hi, welcome, I'm Michelle, 29, hmm, turning 30 this year. If you can get a little wobble, it's not little, it's big, it's a big wobble. Take it all back. I'm going for this vibe moment where I want my personality to shine through what I'm wearing. I just feel like my clothing is very dull at the moment. It's shapeless, it's like not touch my body because I went through a phase of just not wanting to highlight my body at all and not wanting to show it like dressing like a sloth 100% of the time. I'm done with that, so this is the new me. Okay, I wish I was wearing different. Bats. I decluttered my closet and it's finally looking a little bit more like me. I also cleaned up my office. As you can see, it's actually clean in here. There's like space to move and breathe and do life and feel creative. I haven't really been using my office as a creative space. It's more just like where I'm packaging my yoga orders. By the way, since I decluttered my closet, I do have a bit of stuff on my yoga store. I'm uploading some more stuff today. If you want to buy some of my pre-loved items, I will leave the link for my Yaga store down below, but or you can just search the Shell Aldridge. I feel like that's pretty much it in terms of decluttering and like the miserable looking face that I had. And now that we've done that quick little catch up, I'm also going to include after this some clips from then. Like we're having a little bit happier, beach days, fun times. Morning guys, this is the start of a weekend vlog. I'm starting this in my office because it's the first day that it feels like it's actually clean and I can be in here without feeling anxious, or overwhelmed or stressy because there's just stuff everywhere. Sean is away for a bachelor's weekend, which I'm actually very excited about. I love having my own time and being able to just do what I want and not think about anyone else. But today I want to start doing some home things. So I got this pack of handles a while ago. I got them from Galmar. So these are I think 96 centimeters from hole to hole. And that's exactly what our hideous silver ones are. And I feel like these were the most affordable that I could find in South Africa. Most people have negative feelings around renting and the whole thing is like, oh, we need to buy as soon as possible. And obviously in our parents' generation, being able to buy early was normal. Whereas for us, it's not because property prices are insane, especially in Cape Town. But for me, now more than ever, it's about being able to create home even when you're renting. So making it feel like home in small ways that can be removed when you move out again. This is very tight. Especially if it can be removed and it's renter friendly, then why not?
Morning guys, it is Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Woke up like half an hour ago, if that. And I am heading out to the beach again because it is it's just so hot today. I think it's gonna be like in the 30s. I love the idea of doing solo adventures, like not having to need people or someone to go with me. Because I do often do stuff with friends or Sean or I always want to get someone along with me because I don't want to ever look like Oh, this one doesn't have friends or whatever. But why can't I just enjoy being alone and not have to validate other people going out and thinking about what are they thinking of me? Who cares? I don't know them. I'm sweating. I am sweating already. The beach, my Kindle. I think I'm going to go to the same beach I went to yesterday, back open. Not a single breath of wind. Okay, morning guys. Shut up, dog. No, no, no. Morning guys. I am starting with a bunch of crap behind me over here, but oh, the glasses. We're doing kind of like a, well, I'm already away. You can see I'm in a different space. And we are away for a friend's wedding. 
So I thought I would vlog some of it. Last night was fun. We swam in this pool over here. We had dinner, drank wine, chilled. It was great. And now it's the next morning. I had a great sleep. I had the aircon on because I think it was like 39 degrees last night or yesterday. And I don't, I don't do well in, in the heat, eh? The heat is not for me. Morning man voice. Gotten up, gotten showered. Coming to have some breakfast. I forgot my oat milk in the room. I also am that person. I brought my oat milk with me. Babe. I mean, I get Sean to get my oat milk. But yeah, we're going to start with a, a weekend away. A wedding weekend away. And then move into next week. later and I look wonderful because I'm heading off to the wedding oh there we go in the shade okay it's a lot later I hope you can hear me because the wind is blowing but heading off to the wedding I didn't vlog because I was stressed about getting down on time and I feel like I'm a little bit over but not too far over we're not late late like the bride's not here so that's fine Love has surely shifted my way. But we're here. Hey, Sean. Yes. We're getting our car. How exciting. Thank you. We finally have our new car, but I have to say goodbye to my old baby. It's weird. I bought this all by myself, with all my own money. And pay it off. <laughs> Bye, friend. <laughs> Yay, new car. Okay, you take that. Let's go. How exciting! <gasps> new car. <laughs> Fucking big. <laughs> How freaking cool, guys! Sean has been so nervous this whole time that we've been in this car. He's been like, "Don't do this." Don't do that. I need to use my tripod so that you sit above the screen like this. But for now, we're going to have to just deal with it the way it is here. We feel very fancy because Sean had a Kia... No. Why must you be this person? Sean had a Kia Picanto. I had my i20, which I loved. And I worked really hard for. And before that, I had a City Golf. So, like, this is, like, a serious upgrade for us. And we are taking it as a serious upgrade. And we are very proud of ourselves for making this very adult big decision. You could literally sleep in this car. Go away. Do you want us to do this? No. <laughs> Sorry, we're just gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go on a road trip and we're actually no, no, no. not gonna, we're not stopping off anywhere. We're it's just gonna, gonna go sleep in our car. I didn't say what car we got, but we got the Haval Jolien because, I mean, I can chat more about it in a, in a future vlog or something, but 
it was the best in the price range that we were looking at and we even looked at like secondhand and demo other cars and they were in a similar price range but for this we got like maintenance plan and um warranty and stuff like that so very excited and it's an automatic which is very nice like it feels very fancy i like it Sit in your silence, we still feel the vibe But you could not say a word And I know what you just decided We'd be riding the same wave All the water's perfect, babe The heat is rising The time is melting from my fingertips So nothing compares to this Nothing ever will compare to this pool day at friends and it's wonderful well i say we i'm having pool day a girl's pool day we've already had pina coladas we made them from scratch we're gonna make a cheese board cheese more cheese another thing of cheese We're at the beach bright and early on Sunday morning because it's another insane scorcher. Oh, our apartment is disgustingly hot. We were sweating, like ugly sweating, doing absolutely nothing, just walking down to the car. Like Sean was laughing at me because he was like, it looked like there was just SPF dripping down my neck. And I look, I've already swam because that's how hard it was. So I'm looking here. But yeah, we're going to have a beach morning. I'm so excited to get into this water. Morning guys, I'm wearing this little hat again. Actually, I don't know if I vlogged when I wore this the last time, but this is a little Carrie Ann, and I think it's really cute. I'm on my way to a fitting with H&M because I have a shoot with them on the 2nd of Feb. But I would just bring you along to kind of see how these things go. If Bradley is okay with me filming in there, then I will do it. But let's go. How cute, see how good is this vibe? It's nice and early, it's 8.30. I've got croissants in my bag for the two of us. Brandy's got the coffee and the oat milk. And oh, I'm rustling around. We're starting the day like we're still rustling. We're starting the day nice and early. And then I'm going for a picnic with Paige. It's gonna be wonderful. I have a little left moment. This is what I'm wearing today. Shorts, vest.
I'm on my way to a shoot. Also, it looks like it's night time, five to six, and I have a shoot with H and A, which is very exciting. Don't worry, anyone that's worried about me driving and vlogging, I have my camera on a tripod. I'm just talking to you. It's like having you on FaceTime, you know, which I really like. It feels like I'm not alone, which is always fun, except when you want to be alone. <laughs> I haven't put brow gel in, I haven't put my SPF on because with the shoot, they're gonna do all of that for me. So it doesn't make sense for me to do anything to my face. We're working on one batch today and it's very nice. Got lost, always get lost. But I'm here, very much here. I'm very excited, makeup situation how yeah, gorge so and then there's a it looks nice on my skin tone right? yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. Yeah. and then there's the the sports bra We've got crimped hair <laughs> Brandy just to sneak out <laughs> how good it's giving skin how good. Oh. So, um, hi. <laughs> so, um, hi. This is Carly's look. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. the problems. Okay, go. I'm taking your umbrella. <laughs> My alcoholic bag, wait for me. Shade of nude. Two How different gosh. shades. If I wear this, I sometimes look like I'm not wearing anything. If I'm not tanned, mm. there's definitely like a double a double take. Oh my god, it should be getting my pants on. Yeah. I like the top because it's got like a gold shimmery. Mm. I love that you have pink in your eyebrows. I Thank you. I was so confused. Oh, I wanted to go to the bathroom now and say, oh, this is good. Yes, girl. Well done. Glorious. So they painted you. You know what I mean? I'll be wondering, is that? Yeah, I'm going to be on my eye. Yeah. I just don't know. That's just awful. That's awful. I'm naked. You also have a can you see this is yeah. not Johannesburg makeup? No, it's true. It's Kento makeup. So yeah, let us know in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> what are we Which one you're vibing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What yeah, yeah. kind of scent yeah. do you enjoy? Like dark tone? So Obviously this is like black, but it's yeah, like really soft. No. So like, mm. <laughs> they rip, but the rips are just further apart. Yeah, so they're not as like prominent. Mm. I will link the channel down below so that you can go follow. It's recording. Obviously my battery died because whenever I like get out of the swing of vlogging then oh I'm actually must I must do this because I'm not wearing a bra. I forget how often I need to charge my batteries in order for them to work. Let me just 
chill like this. I'm trying not to show you my nips because I'm not wearing a bra. So obviously didn't vlog everything. It was a really fun day. Um, but then it started raining at the end of the day. It was drizzling throughout the day, which I'm pretty sure you've seen. Maybe, like in the clips a little bit. Sean is making a noise in the background, getting soup together. It's rainy and gloomy outside. It's glorious. I love this weather. And I always forget how much I love it. Well, I don't. I've forgotten in this last while how much I love this gloomy weather because I've been enjoying the beach, having beach missions. But it's beautiful. Look at me, sidetrack. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you the whole shoot, but I will link all the other girls' content and YouTube videos and things like that so that you guys can see the BTS that I didn't really get to do. And I think I'm going to end the vlog here, actually, because I feel like I've vlogged quite a bit. And I'll see you in next week's weekly vlog, or in this case, like, two-week vlog. And subscribe if you haven't. I know I don't say that very often, but there's like 30% of you or 40% of you that are watching but are not subscribed. And if you would subscribe, it would make such a big difference for me. And it really brings me so much joy to see how my subscriber base is like growing and how many more of you there are. It's just so wonderful. So do the, all the things, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below telling me you're a real one. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, I'm hoping I did a flash of my areola. <laughs>